early because we're going. You actually are a bright and early for you, are you? Yeah, I actually am. <laughs> we are going for a McDonald's breakfast, which I actually can't remember the last time we had one. As I say, we hadn't had one for such a long time. The last time we had probably one. Probably like three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. The last time we had, we had one, I do think we probably vlogged it, so you guys probably know better than us. But we're heading off to McDonald's now, and then we're going to go for a nice walk afterwards. We're going to change our walk up a little bit today, aren't we? Yes. Um, we're still staying local, but it's somewhere we've not actually been in a while. Um, so we're going to change it up a little bit because we feel like all we do is the same room, don't we, at the minute? Yeah. And I yeah. bet everyone feels the same, like it's just the same thing going around the regular circle. So we're just changing it up, changing our walk up. However, how nice is it that we can finally meet people outside and go for a walk? That's, That's really nice. nice. So or good. even for a barbecue or whatever. Um, so yeah, on our way to McDonald's and then Bacon. You know about that bad boy. Yeah, we're going to do some Easter bacon it's Easter tomorrow. Well, actually, it's Easter day for you, so happy Easter every day. Alright, happy Easter. Hope you've all got lots and lots of chocolate, all the Easter treats. Because <laughs> I know we've got loads, haven't we? We've we have got loads. We've got so much chocolate, even real. Um, so if you are excited for this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and we shall see you at McDonald's. So we're just in the McDonald's drive through queue and it is so busy. I think we everyone's had, spend, had the same same idea. I think we spent ten minutes to get to this point. <laughs> um, but what I was going to say is, before we go and make our order, who can guess in the comments below what we're going to get? Because we get the same thing every single time. For breakfast, we do get every the same single time. Thing who can guess time. what we're going to get? You know what you're getting? Are you getting your normal? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Let's have a little guess. Do you make a muffin meal, please, with a fresh orange? Yeah. Then can I get one? Just the sausage and egg McMuffin meal with another fresh orange. Yeah. And then can I get a cheesy bacon flatbread, please? Yeah. That's everything, thank you. Okay, can we check the screen down around, please? Perfect, thank you. Morning. Then morning, you alright? Me too. Oh yeah, is there any ketchup in there? Ketchup? Yes, please. Yeah, that's too bad for you to eat. Are you ready to do bag up? Yeah, it's not, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. Me and Tom were just having a conversation about um, underrated and overrated um, takeaways. And Fast just food, just food yeah. in general, actually. Hey, is this a new spot where we can put the camera? <laughs> we're finding new spots in the um, van. So we said, um, KFC, what do you think? Overrated, massively. Overrated. Domino's, underrated. Underrated. I um, feel like a lot of people say, oh, Domino's too expensive, too expensive. If you get if you get the um, meal deals and stuff like that at Domino's, massively oh, underrated. Lovely. What about McDonald's? McDonald's Norm is perfectly rated. rated. I do love a McDonald's, but everyone perfectly loves a McDonald's. Rated. Burger King. Underrated. Yeah, I'm not bothered. I really like I really like Burger King, and I feel like I only ever have it in an airport. True. <laughs> but the burgers at Burger King, I used to work at um, a holiday camp, and they had a Burger King on site, so we had it like every day for dinner. And I just miss it, you know. I miss it. And then we were saying cinema popcorn. Overrated. Don't even like it. Overrated. Um, Tango Ice Blast. Overrated. 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 They're nice, but they're overrated. Couplins. Some of you might actually not know. I was going to say, that was just what I was going to say, some of you. That's well, a Yorkshire not, thing. But if you are in Yorkshire, we think Couplins is overrated. Uh, Couplins is beautiful, don't get me wrong. Sausage rolls are a little bit overrated. Well, but they're, they're massively overrated, actually. What else is there? Uh, Pizza Hut. Overrated. I'd say it's overrated. Well, that's yours. Overrated. Pizza Hut. You know. I haven't one of these yet. Um, Pete, what I was going to say, if you can think of any more, put them in the comments below and then we'll comment back we'll whether we think we... they're underrated or overrated. Um, so, we got sausage and egg McMuffin meals as normal, and then Tommy got a little extra today, didn't he? I got an le extra little cheesy flatbread, um, because I've never had one, and they always look fantastic. And for £1.49, £1.49, I mean, yeah, probably <laughs> perfectly priced, actually. <laughs> I didn't realise that's how small they were going to be, but still... 1.49, that's good. It smells really, really good. Anyway, bon appetit. Well, I tell you one thing. It's pretty. Don't know where the sun's gone because it's absolutely it's so cold. freezing. Yeah, in it. I think it's just because we're in, just showing where we are. So like we're like on the top. So the 
wind is just absolutely howling. It's, just, it's our own fault for just being back out in the open. But, um, yeah. It's our own fault for being back out in the open. It's our own fault for choosing a walk. I, you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh. For choosing such like an open route. Yeah. That's but it's cool. a nice route, but it is freezing. Yeah. But do you know what? We'll walk up and we'll walk it. Exactly. It's so, come to the fairground. The music's blasting now, but no one's here. It's like a derelict, uh, you know, you know, like them, um, um, like horror movies where they're like stuck in a fairground at night. All that jazz. I imagine if you came here late at night, that's what that would be like. Mental, they're just cleaning it and stuff. So that's why the music's on. Getting ready for like the 12th. I imagine this would be open on the 12th. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Like outdoor and that, yeah, isn't it? So. Yeah, cool. Who remembers going to the fair as a kid and oh, going on the fun house? Was that not just the absolute epitome of I used to be fair? I used to be really scared of it, you know. The fun house? Yeah. Oh, it used to be absolutely really banging. House, but it was like, that one there. But it's like a big circle. Yeah, no. Yeah, you used to go in the circle like a oh. like a hamster wheel type thing yeah, and just walk around it. That. that used to be absolutely mint. That was like the one ride that, you know, they'd, my mum and dad would give you a few quid and that would be the one ride that I just went to Do you know over and over, over again. I love going to the fair. Yeah. Like, I used to be obsessed with it. Yeah, I did actually, as a year. kid. Yeah, and then you look at it now as an adult and you're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. People have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do, staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Some, they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends. But I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in a century? Like dust in the wind Or the talk of the town That we are living in Well I don't know I don't know How could I know What lies ahead of me Am I part of a grander Master plan Will I be washed away like Okay we just got home now And I'm going to actually attempt to do some baking Like I say I've actually recently started to follow this lady on Instagram Let me just show you her Instagram this is her, um, she's like a baking Instagram, she's called Fit Waffle, um, but she does loads of really, really good recipes on here, loads that I'm going to try in the future, but the ones that I want to try today are these caramel shortbreads with mini eggs in the base and mini eggs on the top as well, how nice do they look, so I'm going to give those a go, um, we all know what I'm like with baking, but let's just be positive, it's going to go really, really well. The thing about her Instagram that I love is she does like a little video showing you how to do it um, as well as like putting all the ingredients and the method and stuff below so that's good. So what we're going to need to make the mini egg caramel shortbreads are um, you're going to need some plain flour, I only had a bit left in that one so I just bought another one as well. You're going to need some granulated sugar, I've got two of those again just because I only had half. You need some golden syrup. Now, this is the only one I've got, so I'm hoping that one's going to be okay. Brown sugar, um, condensed milk with caramel, unsalted butter, normal plain chocolate, um, some salt, and then also we needed some mini eggs, and Tesco's had run out, so I just literally bought a pick a mix and filled it with mini eggs. I'm hoping there's enough in there for what I need. And then also, I'm not sure if this tin is big enough small enough i don't really know ignore the stain inside that is stained but we're just gonna give it a go like we normally do and hope for the best so let's just keep our fingers crossed <laughs> Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix family 
marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front This is it. I got it from New Look, like I say, and I'm still really indecisive as to whether or not I like it. So, the reason I bought it initially was because it was in the sale. This top was £6 and the bottoms were £6. I bought it in a size medium, so just for reference for people. It is quite big. I'm like a size 10 on the bottom usually. And that's what the medium's like on me, so it's very, very baggy around the waist. Um, but I did find that when I rolled it up, it wasn't as bad, but I like things to be really baggy like I did. I wouldn't have wanted these any tighter. And I think these are probably the perfect fit. But I just thought it'd be nice, like I say, just to wear on the house when I'm just lounging around. Like now, I've just got out of the bath, so I've just chucked this on. Or maybe like if your friends were coming over for the night or whatever. It was £6 for the top and £6 for the bottoms reduced, so it was £12 in total. It's usually, I think, £12.99 for the top, £12.99 for the bottoms. So I actually just thought it was such a bargain. But it is now actually the next day. It's now Easter Sunday, so you guys will be seeing this video today. So happy Easter. Not gonna lie, we didn't actually try the caramel shortbread yesterday. Is it called Millionaire Shortbread? Whatever it's called, we didn't actually try it. So we're gonna go and try it now. The weather's looking a lot nicer today. Definitely a lot brighter than yesterday. I'm just having a bit of a pajama day. Are you ready to try this caramel shortbread? I absolutely am. I just wanna say, it didn't go great. Like, the chocolate's coming off the top, which isn't great. And I don't think I put enough caramel on. I think what happened was the tray was too big. I needed like a smaller square of tray. So next time, that's definitely what I'll use, but hopefully this still tastes okay. I'm gonna try this bit. I'm gonna have this corner bit. I feel like the corner bits are always the best when you get like a birthday cake or whatnot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know what? That piece is beautiful. That is really nice. I would just say there's too much shortbread. Oh, yeah, but that was so good. I would just say that the caramel's a little bit runny. And do you know why that is? If you remember, I used the um, skinny, um, what's it called, golden syrup, because I didn't have any of the normal one. And I think when I poured it in, it was really, really runny, obviously because it's a skinny one. So I think if you was to use normal golden syrup, it would be thicker and the caramel would be thicker and not as runny. Yeah. So two tips would be do not as much shortbread. I didn't see three, you make this. Three so. tips would be not as much shortbread, proper golden syrup and more caramel because I don't think that there was enough caramel like it should go to there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you were like comparing it to a normal bakery, the only thing that I would say is it's a little, the caramel is a little bit runny. runny. But other than that, that was absolutely banging. And to say that that's the first time I've ever made millionaire shortbread, I'm quite impressed. So I'm it impressed. is a good recipe. I will pop it in the description box below. But like I say, don't use skinny maple syrup. Now that I've had that for breakfast, um, don't normally have stuff like that. But you know, good start to an Easter Sunday. Um, I am going to go outside. It's given a beautiful day outside. And I've just got a load of stuff that's just been building and that I just need to get done. So I know I said it was supposed to be a really warm day today and I do still think it will be. It's now freezing. Um, I've just come outside and I've had to go back inside so I've had to put some trousers on, a hat on, I put some gloves on because it is freezing. Now, um, 
I've got a load of jobs to do, not gonna lie. I always seem to have loads of jobs to do, but um, today I've got a few bits to do around the house. Um, I'm gonna pressure wash because you know, it's the weekend, always a pressure wash the weekend. Um, I am going to cut the grass, which seems to grow incredibly fast. I, uh, when, I know I've said this before, but when I bought a house, I did not know that it, grass grew this fast. It's cutting like every week when it's summer, but still, Danny's doing. I want to clean out my van a little bit, the back. I know we did the front last week, but I want to do the back this week because I just ordered a load, a load of new drills and things, so I need somewhere to put them. Uh, what else have I got to do? Don't know really, but uh, we'll see as the day unfolds as to what else I've got to do. I'm going to start with the van because it's cold and I don't want to cut the grass in the cold. I don't want to pressure wash in the cold either, that will be awful. Start with cleaning the back of my van. Now at the minute it looks like this, which does look like a bomb's gone off, but uh, it doesn't normally look like this. I've just got a lot of stuff in there from working late and just when you work late you just throw everything in and then just want to get home. So. That's why it's not tidy right now. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You, you will never regret. like chaos but actually it's not it is all actually tidied out and everything's in the right place and things are sorted out and tidied up this is just rubbish that needs to go into the bins um but other than that we're all tidy um and also the sun is now breaking through as you can see behind me it is beautiful and warm so that can come off and while it is warm i feel like i'm gonna cut the grass i mean it's gonna be warm all day but I'm gonna cut the grass first because when you pressure wash, you do get wet, you do get cold. So that's no, you never want to do something else after that. I want to pressure wash and then go get a shower to warm up. So I'm gonna cut the grass now. Break our patterns. 
Now. So it is a little bit later on now. Tommy's had a really productive morning outside. I've just been chilling out to be fair. I've had a bit of a hoover on the house but I did give it a proper clean yesterday so it didn't really need much. And then I'm just chilling on the sofa. I'm having a little bit of a pyjama day. My friend bought me these pyjamas for my birthday and they're personalised which I really really like. And they're really cute. So I am, like I say, having a pyjama day. We're going to cook a Sunday roast in a bit. And I think we're just going to spend the afternoon on the sofa watching films and eating all the chocolate because that is what Easter Sunday is all about. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you all have a lovely Easter Sunday eating all the chocolate and we shall see you in the next one. Anything you want to say? No, not really. Hope you all have a lovely Easter weekend and we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.